Hi all, today I'm gonna show you few things about new thing in Apache C Play, how to visualize GIS information, geographical information. So before starting the tutorial, I'm gonna show how to run the grant test in C Plane. So you have to go to the C Plane, get a clone and go to the C Plane web. In there you can type grant test and it will run the grant test that is in Zipline web app and you can see they ask like 14 execution of the test and they were successfully and you can see each uh, task or process regard to the test with their duration and the percentage over all the time so first of all better you run the test before starting anything so I'm okay to good to go successfully test a build it in here so now I'm going to build start the discipline first of all so start then a lot of developers so I can start the discipline from 8080 but I'm going to see the ground service so I can demo a few more details so starting so it's starting the browser in here you can see it's it in here so this started in here I think worry so you have a new territory called my official and tutorial just click on it so here it is you can run if you want to run all the that is so just run all the things it takes some time but fine but uh, since I have run it, I don't want to run it again. Just check is my information available on here. Okay, I think it's, okay. I think I could have in the data. If not, you can run from here from the top or particular paragraph in here rather running all notebook in here. So you have like separate interpreters in here. So first one is images explanation one. What you're going to do in here? What oh, we are basically looking at getting online data, GIS information from online. It's called is the language, and then we trying to pre-process our data. This is how our data is on our comma separated file or scan like Excel file. CSV file. So first one is the country, then you will have the name of the states and the latitude and the latitude and latitude. So then I just pass in my information into the to object and marking into a table. So I will run whole thing again from the top of the thing. So it bit easier for you to understand how this thing was happening, right? So when you run in the thing, you see like mark as finished. So currently I'm doing what I'm, I will explain again. So I'm get the data, build the thing, and okay, here I have the thing. Really nice. So you see like all the finish. If you want to run again, click, you can see it's coming up. So this is the data that I was explaining. So you have a country in the top, or the name, the states, in the latitude and latitude and altitude altitude is the height from the sea level so when you click on a last one in here you see the graphical information so you can click any of it so you will if you have a hundred points it will center your paragraph and you can see all the markers regard to your data set so in here I have written a few different codes so I can define the altitude which level I want to so currently it's 400 so I increase to 1500 okay it's ready so you can zoom into a map as you wish click on any point and see what is it so you can see the data point I have like only four data points in here yes you can see four data points in here so those are really nicely entered so can zoom into any place that you wish very easy very smoky and another one is this particular map is using the leaf 
Applet and OpenStreetMap, so very smoothly and support uh, browses very well. So I'm gonna show you that level. So okay, and see, it's really easy for map visualization even on mobile phones or tabs on any devices you prefer. So. you can run map visualization on cplane at the moment and you can do data analytics with the latitudes and latitudes so next i'm going to show you how the data validator can be validated against each data model that is very important because some data is not able to run on gis data so when you click on a button you have to get the information this is not supported the particular data schema so I will explain it in my next tutorial so at the moment see you on the next